Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing a game called All That Remains, a story about a child's future. This is a walking simulator, I believe. So let's find out. Dear Diary, My name is Chloe. I'm 10 years old, and this is my story. I live Achievement in Stratford, the beginning. a small town in Canada near Toronto with my parents. I'm currently going to a school here in our city, but next school year, I will have to go to a new school. Then, I'm going into the fifth grade. Actually, I'm very happy, but my mother doesn't think so nice. She's always worried about me, and as much as I try to take her worry away, I just don't know what to do. But that was not the only change in my life. It's time for bed, darling. Yes, I'm already in. Okay. Off to a decent start. Mom? Mom? But that was just the beginning of the story. Tab to show inventory. We don't have anything in our inventory. I wanted to come out here and see. I saw a couple things on the dock. There's a bench over there and there's something over here. What is this? Boys in elementary school are the worst kinds of people. In my old school, there were a bunch of gross kids always doing something awful, like stepping on ants or throwing sand at each Achievement other. unlocked love. Now, in this new school, they're a bit tamer, but that doesn't mean they're not jerks. Most of them always try to act like they're the best in everything. Like they try to impress nobody and everybody all the time. They also hit each other a lot. I think the first couple I heard of was between this girl, Charlotte, and a boy almost a year older than her. It was pretty calm in sixth grade, but as soon as I got to seventh grade, this couple's thing spread like wildfire. I always think my friends and I are a bunch of nerds, mutually knowing that. Yeah, we have no shot at this, but it's fun to hear gossips and whatnot. Eventually, though, the fire catches us, too. In a good way, though. Tom and Lucy said they're dating now, and I think I smiled a little too much when I heard them tell me. But whatever. We're in ninth grade already, and I never ever cared about a relationship for myself. But now that two of my best friends are trying it out, I'm a bit jealous. Try it out. Emma and I often talk about boys now. I'm not Your sure mom's why. house podcast. I feel like it's wrong, but it can be fun. This talent scout that visited our school, Jack, is a big part of our discussion. He's about the hottest dude I've ever seen, but he's also 20 something. I still get pretty tongue tied around him, which is weird and probably affects the quality of my work. I think that for the entirety of 10th grade, I was looking for someone myself, but every boy from my school was just. Not it, I guess. I never found someone I feel connected to on that level until this beautiful post-16th birthday summer. His name's David, and he's an artist as well. I met him at a gallery for an art competition I went to. He's many things, but one thing you'll notice straight away, he's got some class. He's very kind and well-mannered, but he's also not shy. So like an impossibly perfect combination Confident, but not presumptuous. Can you believe it? I think he's interested in me, too. We start going out, and things are looking great. I'm under a lot of stress, but David is the sweetest guy in the world and always makes me feel so much better. I'm glad I found him. One time, exactly three months after we started dating, he took me to this special restaurant at one end of town. It was no regular diner, though. The entire thing was a Ferris wheel, and you basically rent a cell where you get served food beforehand, then have 45 minutes to talk, eat and do whatever you want while riding around in a gigantic wheel. It's one of these things where it's either fantastic or a total failure. It was amazing. It was super romantic, and honestly, I didn't even know I needed it. There's something so intimate in eating, discussing, connecting to someone while you're 300 feet high in the air. We kissed when we were exactly on top. 
no one could watch us from beneath or above. It was the best thing ever. I wish we could do more of these, but the 11th grade is so tough, and neither of us has any time. Emma and Lucy are happy for me, nagging me about how in love I am. Maybe I am in love. I don't know. I like David. After what happens with my father, though, I don't see David for a while again. I want to, but I can't stand it. I'm not sure why. It's like I'm forcing the distance between us. David doesn't deserve this. We were happy not too long ago. It's not fair that just because I can't handle something in my own life, that means he has to go through the difficulty of bearing with me as well. It's only during summer when I understand why I couldn't talk to him. I think it's because I was vulnerable. I was at my most narrowed down state, and I couldn't allow anyone who I love so much to see me like this, to feel me like that. I didn't trust him, I didn't trust my friends, and I didn't trust myself. David and I are better now though. We're both in the last grade of high school, so we only need to get through this. Then hopefully we can both go to college together. We try to go on dates more often, he always tries to spice things up and make sure we never get tired of doing the same things over and over. Sometimes it ends up being a mess, like the time we tried to go to a laser tag place. Most times it's very fun. For example, we went bowling one night and I think we found a whole new hobby that we both love. David helps me rebuild. I feel like I was torn apart after last year and I'm so happy to have someone like him to keep me together. Sometimes when we talk, I look at his eyes and think about what's going on in his head. How can he bear me? How didn't he leave me already? And other times when we're together, all alone with our breaths completing one another, I think the opposite. We're perfect for each other. It's insane luck that we found one another. I love him. Eventually, I'll tell him that. And he tells me he loves me too. And that's it. That's love. When we have each other and we don't need anybody else. <clears throat> that was insanely long. Holy shit, dude. Space the dialogue out some more. That was nuts. Achievement unlocked, take your time. I wonder how long this song is. <laughs> I guess that's it. Wow, we're like 10 minutes in and we haven't left the starting area. <laughs> oh, wow, man. All right, let's follow the uh, signs or whatever. Oh, hey, what's this? Can't interact with that, it looks like. Love, birthdays, school. School's up that way. 
Birthdays are that way. Alright, let's go look at school, I guess. Let's go find out about school. I didn't see anything that looked interactable down there, so... The stars seem brighter now Than they did before That's the same song, isn't it? Alright, I'm not gonna... I won't make you guys sit through that again. There might be an achievement for it, but I'm not gonna make you sit for it. I don't know if there is or not. But there might be. You never know. What was that? Oh, it's just a purple flower. Nobody cares about anybody in my current school. That's how it's been for four years now. It feels like a school for dummies. So I'm excited to see what this new school will bring. Achievement unlock school. Well, here we go. It's time for fifth grade. I'm not sure if I'm excited. I used to be super pumped for every new grade, but I have no idea what the new school will be like. The school seems nice, I think. It has good decorations, and I really like the drawings. I wonder what the teachers are like. My old teachers always thought I was stupid. I think they didn't know how much ahead of them I was. The teachers here are fine, I guess. Everything is so easy, though. I would want to stay home and read something instead a hundred times over. Math is fun and pretty easy. My teacher, Mrs. Cobalt, thinks that it's a challenge for me. But I always give her the assignment before she even finishes talking. They don't give a lot of homework, but when they do, I finish it in class. History is a bit interesting, mainly because we don't do anything. We have art class, where everybody makes whatever they want. I started working on a pencil drawing, so every day during that time, I continue it. Well, it's fine. Not that bad so far. Fifth grade is easy and pretty short. They gave us 15 math questions to solve during the summer, but I finished everything on the first day. Sixth grade is the last year of elementary school. My new friend Emma is struggling with math, so I help her. A few of the other kids say I'm a nerd that likes school. I don't like school. I just don't struggle as much. During spring, this school has a special fair. They decorate every building and put out games and shops around the school. It's nice that they do it. I wish my old school did things like that. They now prepare us for the end of the year test with every subject we learn. It sounds scary, but I'm sure I'll be all right. Tom, Emma's friend, can't remember long division. I promised to help him, so he gave me a piece of gum in return. I think I can open a black market of things like that, selling private classes in return for candy. Maybe I'll do it next year, because I don't think the kids in this grade like me that much. As expected, the test is easy, at least for me. After this summer, I'm finally starting middle school, seventh grade, and wow, things are different. It's at a different place, a 10 minute drive from my home. We study physics now, and on top of everything else, history has tests now. History never had tests. Art classes are gone, unfortunately. My teachers are the worst. I think they don't like it when I already know what they're teaching. Some of them yell at me for saying the answer when I'm not supposed to. I don't think that black market idea would work anymore. History is awful. Why do I need to remember these names of people who died a hundred years ago? These things have no relation to us. It's not practical. I'm so confused. I got a B minus on my history test. That's the worst I've ever got on any test in my life. My mom doesn't care too much. But that's upsetting to me. 
I'll start studying more. In one word, middle school is a mess. Everyone is so loud all the time. They care about things they'd never cared about before. I'm glad I managed through seventh grade. I hope eighth grade will be somewhat different. The beginning of eighth grade isn't so hard. We have a new housemaster. He's called Richard. He seems pretty nice. He's younger than my previous ones, and he's one of the only guy teachers I've ever had. I think he understands me better. We have biology now, and I absolutely hate it, as if history wasn't enough. We have to remember different parts of living creatures, and I don't understand why. I would much rather draw instead of reciting what the powerhouse of the cell is called. The first half of that year is fine, though. It's better than seventh, in my opinion. This school's Halloween dance is super fun. Some of the spider webs they put on the walls as decorations stayed there until February. I think I'm falling behind a bit in biology, though. I was willing to study at the beginning of the year, but ever since I got a cell phone, I stopped putting as much time into it. Seriously, there are so many things I can do on my phone that are so much more productive than biology classes. This year's biology test was huge, and they told us we'd have to prepare for it a lot because it's a precedent for next year's final chemistry and biology test. Well, I got a C minus. My report card is like some unfunny joke. I have an A or an A plus in almost everything, but a big fat B minus in history and a C in biology. My mom's upset because I probably could have gotten more. Ninth grade is just annoying. As they told us before, we now have chemistry and biology in one class. That's like hell squared. It's not even New Year's yet, and my biology teacher caught me drawing five times. I used to fear to go to school, but now I feel awesome. I mean, my grades might not be as good, but they're just numbers and letters on paper. I feel more comfortable in school. My mom and my old friends aren't as happy. Eventually, though, as it nears summer and the end of middle school, I know I have to get back to studying. My friends are nice. They help me study even though I haven't had them in a while. If I don't get a good grade in this chemistry biology test, I'll be in big trouble. It's hard to write with my broken hand, especially since it was my good one. But Richard said he'll allow me to use my laptop in class for the rest of the year. I study so much in the final days. I stayed up the whole last night studying for it. Finally, the test is over. A week later, we have the results. And it's a B plus. I absolutely destroyed chemistry and biology. It's so fun to know I won't have to study this again unless I choose it in high school. I definitely won't though. We're now starting 10th grade. I like that we don't have biology anymore. And thankfully, history is much easier. I feel like a lot of last year's stress will be gone this year, which is awesome. Let me just say this. The kids in high school are nuts. Our class seemed fine when we first got it. It had a small wooden closet for kids who've yet to get their lockers to put their books. Within the first week, a few kids disassembled one wooden wall of that closet and started writing jokes on it. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's now wide open on one side. Now that I'm in high school, I can go to the Halloween prom. It's better than what we had in middle school. This time, they put a lot of effort into making our building feel spooky. One day, a guy dressed up as a skeleton and ran through classes. I heard he got called to the principal's office, but didn't have any other clothes. So his parents took him home in that costume. We have three major tests this year. They're each 30% of our final grade. One in math easy. One in physics, not so easy. And finally, one in history, the worst. My math test is supposed to be more complicated than the other kids because I'm in a special class, but so far it seems pretty easy. Physics can be confusing, but it's mostly equations. As far as history, I do what I did every year, which is reciting things a thousand times until I remember them. Finally, I managed to get a good grade on all of these tests. Each year, the school does this end of the year party 
for each class. It's very fun. They get pizza for the whole class, and we watch a movie, then have a mini party. I know 11th grade is hard, but I feel ready to roam. 10th grade was good. We have four tests this time around, same three as last year, with the addition of English. I like writing, but I don't like English class. It feels useless. I hope I can get through this test because there's a lot to remember. In our first English test, I studied a lot, so I got an A+. But now that this thing happened with my dad, I don't study that much. I don't feel like studying at all. I think it's going to take a toll on my grades, but I can't get myself to sit and recite things that don't help me whatsoever. What good is there to study physics, history, and even math? I know I'm not going to use any of it in my life. I want to draw, but there's no classes for that. The four tests go awful, but my mom pulled some strings so that it won't affect me too much in my last year of high school. I didn't go to this year's last day with the party and the pizza and everything. I didn't even get my report card in school like everybody else. I stayed home and they mailed it to us. After summer, I feel a little better. There's just one more year of all of this. Then I can go to college. I know I need to maintain good grades if I want to get that scholarship. So I study a lot as well. Mostly alone though. Well, I guess things haven't totally worked out the way I wanted in school, but the last year is better. Things are looking up, and I'm hoping for a better time in college. There's just one final test to go through. Then I can go on my way, and that's it. I finally finished the 12th grade with an excellent level grades badge, according to my report card. I know I should feel a sense of accomplishment, but frankly, I just feel like a huge weight was put off my shoulders. It's time to move on. I finished school. All of it. Feels good to say that. Wow, man. They need to break this dialogue up a lot. It's just way too much to sit and listen to. Way too much. Holy crap, man. They should have just let her talk this stuff out while she's walking around. Like, as you hit certain triggers, I guess. Like in Dear Esther. That was nuts, man. That's way too much dialogue. Whew. Bullying and vacations. Well, hmm. I don't. If I go around the outside of the island, we'll miss all the inside stuff. So I guess I better go this way. Is there a save button? There's not. Dude, how are you supposed to finish all this? All right, we saw love in school, so we need bullying, which is this one. I can't believe there's no save system. They expect you to complete this all in one sitting? I've been playing for 23 minutes and I'm ready to quit already because this is too much to sit and listen to and just sit there. If I Maybe I could turn the sound off and just read it because I can read a lot faster than they're talking. Soldier that way. Bullying this way. Friends that way. Well, bullying's where we've tried to come for, so I guess... Yeah, there's the thing up here. I wonder if I can turn the sound off. No. Ugh. Alright, maybe I can talk over. Hold on, I'll turn the volume down on OBS. Alright. One of the worst things in my old school was all the dorks. That's how my friend and I called them. Here, hold on, let me turn it down even more. And it's actually, uh... It's it's in my headphones too loud. I'm going to turn it down there too. Whoops, sorry. All right. One of the worst things in my old school was all the dorks. That's how my friend and I called them. I'm not sure how exactly we classified someone as a dork, but there was definitely a group of kids who were all part of that category. 
We never did anything to them, but they always came after us after school. I tried keeping away, and since I was faster than them, I usually got away. They didn't hit me, luckily, though I half hope they will just so I can tell the teachers. In this new school, however, it's worse. I don't even know anybody, so I'm pretty much alone in this. They hate being called bullies, so I started using that word instead of dorks. They pick up sticks from the streets, then chase people around with them. Though I think they like to pick on me specifically more than other kids. I'm not sure why. I don't even know their names. There's this group of girls which I used to talk to, but I guess they're bullies too. They told me they want to hang out. Then during break time, they put sand in the back of my shirt. That was mean. Takes me ages to clean it. Sixth grade isn't as bad, though, mainly thanks to Emma, Lucy, and Tom. I think the bullies don't really pick on kids who have friends because they're scared of an all-out war. Sometimes we toy with them by running super fast by the garden near the school. They always hang out there. Middle schoolers are the worst. Just when I thought I was at the top of the food chain because I'm at the highest grade of elementary school, these jerks come and ruin it. I didn't know it, but they hit Tom almost every day after school. He never talked to us about it. So I talked to Emma and Lucy, and we decided to strike back. We didn't tell Tom. On the last day of elementary school, we prepared about five water guns, plus a small, half-working toy BB gun Emma got from her dad. Each of us had two weapons, and as soon as we saw them touching Tom, we jumped to help him. I think we gave the bullies a heart attack. They ran away so fast that I don't even think they... I don't even think they even saw our faces. Tom took the toy BB gun, shot one of them in the butt as he ran away. It was hilarious. Seventh grade sucks when it comes to bullying because the girl from fifth grade is back. She was the leader of that girls group, which always picked on me. I now know her name is Charlotte, and she pretty much has the whole school with to her command. She doesn't hit or do anything physical, though. She's a brat. That's what Emma told me. She likes to spread false rumors about people or turn friends on each other few months into elementary school and Charlotte already tries to do this on me. She stole my pen and now tries to blame Lucy because she knows we had a small fight. When Lucy and I found out, we decided to prank her. We pulled a fake police call about a stolen pen and that scared Charlotte straight. I didn't talk to Charlotte again for a while, but now when we grow friendly before 8th grade was over, our friendship feels like it's saving me from bullies. I'm not sure why, but nobody picks on me anymore. I think the only real bullying happens again at the end of ninth grade after I break my arm. I didn't think people would actually make fun of me for it, but they did. There were a lot of insults and mocking, but luckily nobody hits me or anything like that. The invasion of mobile phones sucks because half the time people call me names I didn't even know who they are. One time I came to a girl's birthday party wearing a t-shirt with the school symbol by mistake. Nobody dared to talk to me at the party, but afterward I got about 20 anonymous messages from people calling me an idiot and, well, some other names. I felt really down after it happened, so I didn't talk to anyone about it. Now, a few months later, Emma found out about it while using my phone to call her mom. I was really embarrassed when I noticed she saw these messages, but she just started laughing at some of the things they wrote. Eventually, I joined her. She showed the messages to Tom and Lucy, and they laughed as well. To be fair, when you look at what bullies say when you're with friends, everything seems like a joke. High school as a whole feels like a huge pile of bullies, though nobody's sure who's against who. The boys laugh at my drawings. I think some of them are trying to compliment me, but it definitely doesn't work. The girls mainly joke about how I dress. It's awful, and I can't leave the house anymore without thinking about what they'll say. Every time I don't come in dressed like a supermodel, they all poke their eyes at me like I'm some weirdo. I stopped minding them by 11th grade. I used to be annoyed by bullies, but now in my last year in school, I think I see them in a different light. There will always be bullies, people wanting to bring me down. I was never sure why, but I guess this is just how things are. They don't affect me much anymore. I learned to ignore them and move on. And now more than ever, I know that this is the best way to deal with them. Alright, I'll turn the volume back up a little bit. I don't suppose we can get on the other side of the train, can we? I'll come back to the path in one second. I just want to see if there's a way. Because I saw a light in the one part of the train. There's no jump button. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we can get on it. All right. You can get on it from there. But well, there's no way through, right? Yeah, it's really dark, but... Oh, I can kind of glitch through. I don't know where to end this video at, because I'm coming up on 30 minutes. That's usually where I end first playthroughs, but... Uh, it doesn't have a save function, so I don't know where I should end it at. There's a lighthouse up here. Let's see what the sign says.
Oh, I just realized I didn't low I didn't uh, raise the volume in my headphones, which means it's there we go. Now it's up loud for me. Louder. Alright, let's see. Bullying was that way. Mobile phone is this way, which we definitely have not seen yet. Soldiers that way. We'll go for mobile phone. See what it says. I guess it's probably up there by the lighthouse. What else is here? Vacations. We didn't do vacations yet either. So we need to do vacations and mobile phone. Maybe I should do vacations first and then make my way back here. I think that'll be easier. That way I don't forget. Actually, maybe we'll do that next time. That's probably a good idea. We'll do vacations next time. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, tell that like button. You want to smash. Don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogy forever. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Later.